Hey everyone, I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper, and welcome back to Build. In their new children's book, You're Missing It, Tiffany Thiessen and Brady Smith tell a funny story about what happens when you're glued to your phone. It's a reminder to slow down and savor time together with family. Please help me welcome Tiffany and Brady. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, how are you? How are you doing you? today? Good, really? I, I'm great. I'm awesome. I, I am also awesome. Okay, what if you're like, you I'm awesome. just okay, I don't know. <laughs> I could use some sun, but we'll take it. I'm digging the weather. You yeah. like it? Yeah. Yes. Wow, you're the second person today yeah. who said that. I'm like, I'm, I'm ready for sun. You're ready for summer? Yeah. I want to be walking through, through, through a the park, park like yep. this little kid appreciating yeah. everything that it has to offer. I get it. That was it. an awesome I get plug. It. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Well done. Nice so, segue. Yeah, let's talk about the book. I know you've written you know, a cookbook in the past, but why, <laughs> why children's book now? I think after having kids, it was something we had talked about and wanted to do together. And the fact that I have a very talented artist as a husband, it seemed almost natural for us to do a children's book. And um, this sort of storyline was kind of important for us. It was something that we talked about a lot. Um, it's very relevant. It's it's a universal story. It's not just about you know children. I think it's I think we're living in a very fast paced modern society, which is amazing, but at times I feel like it also is not so amazing when uh, we're missing the simplicity and the beauty, especially seeing things like, you know, the world through a when child's we were, eyes. When so. we were driving over here just five minutes ago, I looked out the window and 90% of the people were walking like this. The guy on the bike in front of our van was <laughs> on know. his phone. I know. And riding so, his bike I was like, he's going to get hit. He's going to get so hit. So not only are we missing things, yeah. we're also putting ourselves in, in danger. danger. <laughs> I know, Because right? we're not looking around. Uh, Everybody's so true. I know. a second book that's like, you're risking your life. <laughs> you're risking. Just, yeah. You're risking it. Yeah. That's a really yeah. good idea. No, that's a great idea. Where did this particular story come from? What was sort of the starting point for that? <laughs> you take it. You know, you go, I, I think you should take it, honestly. We, we joked that... It's a semi-autobiographical tale, cautionary tale. Um, I was outside in our yard. I was, you know, doing the one-handed push. Our two-year-old, he was he's three now, but I was pushing him on the swing and looking at my phone. And my beautiful wife opened up the kitchen window and screamed at me across the yard, you're missing it. Who knew screaming and nagging at your husband would actually produce right. an idea? It, it, <laughs> You're looking at it right there, the evidence of yelling at your spouse. Um, but I, you know, I fumbled my phone, I put it back in my pocket, and a light bulb went off. I was like, wow, I, I was, you know. And the thing about this book in particular is that, you know, people are losing connection. Not just parents, but everybody. And this, is, this particular story is through the perspective of a young child. And what we're trying to touch base on is that, you know, if you are a parent and you're missing out on what that kid's seeing, everything, you know, childhood is so quick and it goes so fast goes and so it's so fast. fleeting. Yeah. And everything that they see right now is almost the first time they see it. And it's so beautiful. You know, a, a butterfly passing by, I mean, uh, catching a roly-poly. Is that what you guys call them? Roly-polies? That's what we grew up. Is there another name for that? Well, I, I didn't know bugs. there was another yeah. name. I didn't know that was up for debate. Oh, pill bugs? Pill bugs. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It, it, it's a little, you know. <laughs> I always knew them as roly polies. Yeah, roly polies. Yeah. But, you know, it's just not missing out on the important things and the, the beauty that the world has naturally. I think also, too, it's like we're not preaching. We're not perfect. You know, uh, I think what we're trying to, at least in our own home, is have have moments where there's a good time and there's a time where you just don't have to have it. Like, you know, dinner time is very important. The mornings are also very important for us where we're connecting with our kids and getting them ready and, you know, doing things that we need to do and watching them and before they go off to school and going to be learning and doing all those things. Um, you know, we all have to work. It's, it's not like we can't live without them, of course, but I think it's a balance. I think trying to find a good balance that we're not constantly on them 24-7. Well, also 24 by seven. Example, right? Because yeah. you're... Kids yeah. are always watching you, and we're not going to be on the phones when we're eating dinner. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I was going to say, they're definitely modeling our behavior, and especially this generation where they, they've grown yeah. up being so intuitive with iPhones. I, yeah. I have nieces and nephews, and I've caught myself yeah. being with them, and they'll be looking at me on my phone. I'm like, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. So one thing we were yeah. talking about a few minutes <laughs> yeah. ago yeah. is that 
You know, remember when you had to wait seven days to get a photo developed? <laughs> a photo developed, yeah. I think and waiting I think to it's wonder, like, like yeah. I think I got the shot. I hope yeah. that's the shot. Yeah. And now it's just instantaneous. And Everything's so instant. Kids will never know. Not yeah. that you know. We also say there's good things about technology. Like that's pretty cool. I wish I could see pictures instantly when I was a child, but. You know, there, but there's something kinda, also about it that I think, you know, again, in moder everything in moderation, right? You know, Patience like, is a yeah. good thing. Patience too. is a good thing. I think Absolutely. there is beauty to reminding your kids to go outside and going outside with them and just taking, you know, even That's if you can do it for 20 or 30 minutes. being able to put dirt in your feet and, like, you know, and, like, you know, picking up snails and climbing trees and all those things that um, that kids should be doing. Yeah. We should be doing as adults, too. Like, you know, yeah, totally. So what was the process for getting the book together? Brady, I know you are an illustrator. Is that something you've been doing, like art in the, in the past? So where I went to college, uh, very small school in Texas, uh, it was actually, it's known for forestry. I decided to study art there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like lumberjacks and me with my palette of paint. <laughs> but uh, I got my degree in fine arts, so I've always done art. Uh, and then I moved to LA and didn't know anybody. I you know, decided that I wanted to take the easy road to being an actor. <laughs> well, there's no heartache or frustration whatsoever. But uh, I've always drawn, I've always painted. And, and the book, you know, my mom was an elementary school librarian and she's always wanted me to do a children's book, and we and we'd we like Tiff said earlier, we've always wanted to, but we just never felt like we had really uh, nailed down a story that would be that a lesson well, and worth something telling. Something that was important to us. Sure, yeah. something that was important to us. Yeah. And uh, and I feel like you know, bias aside, because it's our book, but I I, I definitely feel like this is a, a timely, relevant mm -hmm. thing right now with the, the screens, you know. And Tiffany, what was this like uh, working with your husband on this project? She thought it was the best thing she's ever done. Right. She actually <laughs> said it was her favorite thing she's ever done, was working with me. You know, it's funny. Um, the the book, I was it was kind of almost on the tail end of me finishing up my cookbook, which was my first book that I had ever done that came out last fall. Um, and so when he came up with the idea, <clears throat> um, I was like, babe, we, we, we have something here. You, we got to start working on this. So... But it, it was mostly him, if you think about it. It's, mm -hmm. it's mostly the illustrations. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a lot of him, alone time, <laughs> really. It was a very, <laughs> no, it was me and my studio just painting away. I mean, we collaborated on the story, mm -hmm. and we knew what we wanted to, to say. Right. But as far as, like, the actual <laughs> execution of the art, each, each mm -hmm. page of this book is its own individual painting. There is no computer <laughs> and a lot of books I don't I don't a lot of people probably don't know this a lot of books are computerized they're color you know they're color corrected and and colored in and all that he did everything by hand even the lettering that's his so cool. yeah and I see you dedicated it to your children of course so have you had a chance to read it to them yet oh yeah no they yeah. My, our daughter reads of course yeah. she's in third grade um her her only critique uh was why isn't she in it cool <laughs> so we promised her the next book <laughs> so <laughs> And that is, you're risking it, that yeah, one? Yeah, that one, She'll exactly. be the star in that yep, one? Yeah, exactly. The neat thing about this, <laughs> this book is when, you know, her second question after, <laughs> where am I? Uh, I was like, well, don't you think this, this is cool, right? Yeah. Mom wrote a cookbook, and now together we have a children's book, and this is really special. What do you think? She's like, meh, it's cool. And then I was like, you know, this is going to be in your school library, your name. Mm -hmm. like, kids are going to be able to check this out, and that blew her mind yeah. she's like what that's awesome so it's it's interesting to see what was exciting to her but yeah yeah so after you had your um you know you're missing it moment what have you guys done with your family just to make sure that you are carving out time because i know you both have busy schedules yeah i mean we do but at the same time you know family is priority for us yeah. completely um and uh you know after school and and Depending on what time I come, I, you know, I'm shooting Alex and Katie um, right now, uh, season three. So congrats on season three! Thank pickup, you, by the way. thanks, thank you, thank you. Yeah. It's um, a sweet show. It is such a sweet show. show. It's such a it's yeah. such a great show. Um, but you know, it's afternoon, mornings are all about kids and 
breakfast making and, you know, getting ready. And, and, but the weekends, we really love to be outside. I mean, we are extremely lucky to live in Los Angeles where the weather is generally very, very good, even though we've had a lot of rain this year, but which we needed. Which um, also good. But, you know, we are outside. We're both outside people. Um, we have seven chickens. You know, we have seven chickens dogs. and we play yeah, outside and, and like we bike eggs. ride and we hike and it's we hang with our dogs and we go swimming and, you know, we're very much outside people. And if we're not outside, then it's, trying to be very creative inside. My kids love to cook with me. Um, they draw with daddy. You know, it's it's a lot of, we try to be super, super creative and um, and wanting to stimulate them in, in ways that we feel is, you know, important. For spring break, which was just a few weeks ago, we, we went to Santa Barbara and we forgot their little iPads. We didn't forget them. Well, I think beforehand you said to me, should we forget <laughs> They're iPhones. But I don't have iPhones, baby. I, I love you. Whatever. But Those are really fun to watch, by the way. Thank you. This is great. <laughs> How many years have we been married? Yeah, he said, he said the wrong year a couple minutes ago. <laughs> I was like, okay. Which is also... <laughs> Anyways. It's marriage. But we, but we didn't... My point is we didn't bring any screens. And it was awesome. And the kids yeah. never asked for them. And they no, were on they scooters. Didn't. Our kids are, we were are, at the beach. And, it was so fun. It, they, was, it was one of the best vacations we've had. Right. And... And it just goes to show you, you don't have to have those kinds of things. But, um, but you know, we, we limit them very – they don't have the screens a ton. Um, and it's, it's – you know, they – the iPads are really for traveling when we travel, like, you know, big yeah, If you're in the car places. for, like, seven hours or something. Uh, that's, that's the hard part. And, again, we're not saying no. It's, like, <laughs> it's just all about balance. Yeah. For you guys as well. I mean, obviously, you didn't bring the kids iPads, but you guys still have your smartphones, and you have to make a conscious decision, okay – this is family time, right? Oh, like for it sure. Reminds for you sure. to put your oh, phone yeah. away. Oh, yeah, but it's not even like even if I'm having dinner with friends, like, like I don't want I don't want to be looking. I have it next to me just because I have children, and you know, my, like my parents are watching our children right now, um, just for for that reason alone, just for you know knowing that they're good and happy and eating and you know sleeping and all those things. But um, but I want to enjoy people's company. Like, what's the point if you're just gonna look down and. You know, I mean, I have a nice forehead, but, um, you know. It's funny when you see people on a date or, you know, yeah. and they're at a little table and they're both yeah. looking at their phone. And they're both looking they're at their phone. They're not talking. Yeah. So crazy. Odd to me. If, yeah. You know, if 20 years ago somebody plunked themselves down right now in the future, they'd be like, well, what's going on and what's yeah. that thing they're looking at? I mean, it's just, I don't know. We've gotten ourselves into kind of a weird little fix. Uh, I'm with you. I have this conversation all the time. And I, I, in my optimistic mind, I like to think that we're on a push towards a d digital detox sort yeah. of culture. I, I, think, I think I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, more I do. people I feel, I feel like are like plugging and they're taking vacations yep. where mm -hmm. there's no Wi-Fi. Well, exactly. There's there's resorts that are literally saying no TVs, no, there's no Wi-Fi, you know, all that, which is it's kind of interesting how people are needing that. Oh, yeah. And I think we do. Yeah. Yeah. So your book is right on the money. Thank you. Yeah. That's what we're hoping. I <laughs> also want to talk uh, just really quickly, Saved by the Bell. I saw the reunion photo you guys posted recently. Yeah. I just want to know, have your kids watched the show yet? No. Funny I question. Mean, I, yeah, Harper's watched a little bit only because someone, I think, at her school mentioned. And uh -huh. she this was in story, disagreement though. because in her mind, she doesn't really, really remember too much when I was actually living here in New York doing white collar. She was so little. But... All she remembers really is dinner at Tiffany's at the time. So she was like, my mom's not, she doesn't have a TV show. She's a cooker. She's yeah. got a cooking show. She called show. her a cooker. Um, that's what she used to say. Um, but of course, now she's a lot older and, and she actually loves Alexa and Katie and, and, and loves that show a lot. She's but, like um, the mascot. She goes to yeah, tapings she and does. Every, she, she runs she around. She loves the show so very much. Very sweet. Um, but uh, she she's watched a few episodes of the season one, but but. I don't think I, it, I, I honestly I think she I was like kind of bored. <laughs> I think she was like. But when eh, she first but when know. she first saw it, when, right, yeah, she was. I always, I always yeah. use the comparison. Watching her watch Tiff was like watching a gerbil run off the wheel, <laughs> because her mind she was like, Whoa. can you imagine? Like we have still photos of our parents, right? Can you imagine being a kid and seeing your mom as a kid? Walking, talking, breathing. I mean, that would be crazy, right? <laughs> That's cool that she gets to watch you work now, though, on Alexa and Katie. Can you tease anything in season three uh, as we're moving forward? Um, we just started, so we've only actually shot three episodes. Um, uh, 
no, I'm not going line? to. I'm not going to tease anything. No, of course not. Um, it's going to be. I, I will say this. This is going to be the last two years of the girls' high school. You know, so. Um, and uh, as always, it's you know has a lot of heart and 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 a lot of fun too. A lot of fun. Yeah. All right. That was yeah. a good tease. I yeah, guess. Yeah, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, before we go, I know we have a question or two from the audience. Who do we have first? Way in the back. Gotcha. Hi. 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 So I see there's a lot of tips in regards to parents monitoring their own kids screen sure. time. I'm kind of curious if you have any like smart little tips for like self care of the individual parent keeping track of their screen time. Uh, <laughs> have a wife that yells at you every time you. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> that's a great question. I think that simply being aware is all, you're already taking a step in the right direction. You know, I mean, think about. Uh, that's a good question. I, I just try to be aware of it. Like, man, I'm on my phone too much. You know, just put it down. Your eyes start to hurt. Your thumb gets numb. I mean, it's just no bueno. <laughs> what do you got? Me? Yeah. I feel like I, I'm pretty good. Like, I don't, I don't like being on my phone. You know me. You get mad at me because you're like, you didn't call me back. <laughs> I'm like, I hate the phone. I really point. hate the phone. Sometimes I text her stuff just to see if she <laughs> gets it or not. <laughs> Um, but it was always a, a thing, even in our early days of dating, dating yeah. you know, and I understood it a little bit on his side because all his family's back in Texas. So he was always calling home, but then he would call me be like, Hey, I'll be, I'll be home in 20 minutes. I'm like, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Why are you calling me? Which I'm with makes, you though. Which makes you feel you awesome. I know, but I was just like, I'll She's see like, you in I 20 minutes, you. babe. <laughs> no, I do. Um, I call my mom and dad. Dating. No, and it's My super sweet, dating. and I, I totally understand that. I mean, you know, you're away from home, and I totally get that. Um, don't call her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or to tell her that you'll see her in 10 minutes, yeah. I just always hated, like, having that device on my ear. Like, I don't know why, but it was, I don't know. It was just, it's, it's me. I've never been a big phone person, um, so um, hence me yelling at my husband. <laughs> Which is I fair. hope that I hope that <laughs> answered your question. Okay. Uh, I like the answer. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen on uh, on your iPhones now. They'll tell you how much time you're. There's spending a way to do that. Yeah, yep. I've been telling my husband Ooh. he should look at how much he's been. That's on a his depressing. Phone. Thing you know why I haven't done that? Because I haven't been on my phone enough to look oh, up that. Please. That. Snaps for that. <laughs> Snaps for that, Brady. Thank you. Uh, one I more have question my before we go. Hi. Hi. We have a question from our site, BuildSeries.com. Um, someone wants to know what advice you would give to your younger self. Um, to my younger self? Yes. Oh, don't stress. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. Like, truly. Like, I, that's one thing that I think you get with age is uh, it's, it's, not, it's really not that big of a deal. Like, you know, a lot of things like, you know, and, and the stuff that is big, you know, you learn from it. Um, but I, I remember stressing about stuff that I, like, I would laugh at myself if I thought about it now. That's mine, but. Um, mine is not to fear failure. And that sometimes the accidents are happy accidents. And things turn out better than mm -hmm. what you uh, were striving for. Wow, I just impressed that was myself. Super with that sage, answer. both of you. Uh, we do have one Twitter oh, question before we get out of Did here. You get that? Nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Slayed off? I spilled the water. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, at Siren Jones wants to know, question for Tiffany, where would Kelly Kapowski be working today? I can answer that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. Married to me, uh, two healthy, sweet children, and a children's book that's coming out today. But that's me. They were talking about Kelly. Uh, but you play Kelly, so <laughs> it's the same. Hilarious. No? Where would Kelly be? I, you know, I get asked this actually quite often, and um, it's hard to know. Like, I feel... The things that I, I mean, she definitely married. I mean, that was the last episode that they got married. So my I've guess, never seen the show. Yeah, no, he has actually never seen the show. Um, no, no really. he's never seen it. Wow. Phenomenal. Why? Why not? Yeah, why? No. <laughs> it, I've never seen 90210. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we went on our first date, I think that's what she dug the most about me. Fair. To be honest with you. And I get that. I don't think it's the most, but it was and definitely lovely to hear. I it. get why that would be a benefit, but yeah. just like as a part of it our wasn't culture. It wasn't intentional. He wasn't a bit, no, but he also, his parents actually, there was very limited on how much TV. Yeah, we had, my sister, sister watched, and I had. 30 minutes a week, 30 right? 30 minutes a week of yeah. television. Yeah. So. My dad, Pat Smith, by the way, my dad made me promise I'd say his name on air. 
Hi, Pat. How you doing? <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be stoked. Hi. I love it. Oh, pop. No, but we really only watched 30 minutes growing up. Yeah. Only it didn't count if it was a nature show or on PBS. Which is great. Yeah. But he, but he, that's what's so fun. So he didn't watch a lot of TV. I didn't watch a lot of TV either. I was, you I, guess, doing, I was doing it, but, <laughs> but he watches, and he watches more TV now than he probably did as a kid. Um, I, he's a, he's a movie buff. He likes, you know, likes the old yeah. movies and stuff. But that's cool. It's like your dad was sort of on this you're missing it thing way ahead of yeah. time. Yeah, his of parents, like, I, I would say in, that. Let's do family stuff. Yeah. Let's not be watching well, a TV. I totally would agree with that. Now on a screen. So there I love this message. It's been probably a part of your family for longer than you it even has. imagined. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, it's been a joy talking to both Thank of you. you. Thank you. Thanks for awesome. having us. Thank, Thank you. you. If you guys want to uh, pick up a copy of You're Missing It, it's available today wherever books are sold. Put your hands together for Tiffany Thiessen and Brady. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.